Greetings to all of you at the Lansing Supper Club. It was just a few months ago that I was there with you live, and I enjoyed that so much, and I wish I could be with you today live, but the next best we'll have to do, so we're going to uh, just pretend that I'm there with you live. In fact, I can't wait to see Pastor Philip again, and Lindsay, and that little Chloe, and so I'm looking forward to coming again and being with you. But today we're going to study secrets to wellness. What are the secrets to wellness? How can we get live happier and healthier and longer even? Well, let's look at a statement in the book Ministry of Healing 127 that says these are the true remedies. Pure air, sunlight, abstemiousness, that means abstaining from everything that's harmful and even using wisely that which is good. And then rest and exercise, proper diet, the use of water, trust in divine power. These are the true remedies. So all these natural remedies, my friends, are really the true remedies. And today, we're going to study two of those. It's all wrapped up in the word wellness, which is my acronym that I use in my book on secrets to wellness. Water, exercise, love and trust in God, and lifestyle, abstaining from everything that's harmful and using that which is good wisely. And then nutrition and environment or the air and sunshine and sleep. And today we're going to talk about environment and sunshine. And so the air and sunshine are two of the natural remedies that are so important. Our environment is vital to our health. So our environment is either health restoring or it's health destroying. And air, my friends, is one of the most overlooked but precious gifts. It is right from God, fresh, pure air. Air, my friends, is the breath of life. And we need that fresh air. We need to get out in the fresh air and imbibe those beautiful trees and flowers. And fresh outdoor air has wonderful power to build the immune system and assist the body in the healing process. And right now, we need to build a strong immune system. With this COVID-19 and uh, the coronavirus, we need to have a strong immune system. And in the book called Healthful Living 177, Ellen White says this. She was a health educator in the 19th century, and she says the strength of the system is in a great degree dependent upon the amount of pure air breathed. Air is the free blessing of heaven calculated to electrify the whole system. So air is a blessing from heaven, my friends. It is another one of God's natural remedies right from the Garden of Eden. So let's look at some health benefits of fresh, pure air. Well, there are lots of benefits, but we're just going to go over a few today. One is that it improves happiness. We're going to show you that today. And another is it improves and helps your digestion. It improves blood pressure and heart rate. So if you have high blood pressure, you can actually help reduce the blood pressure by getting some of that good fresh air. It improves your energy. You're going to be more energetic and improves your lung function and your brain power. That's pretty good. I want to improve my brain power, don't you? And it improves your mental health. And it also helps improve your immune system. And so we want to build a strong immune system, my friends, especially during this time. And there's an article that says, Pure Air Fosters Mental Health. And Harvard University Medical School reported, Researchers at the University of Essex in England are advancing the notion that exercising in the presence of nature has added benefit, particularly for mental health. So there are many, many benefits of fresh air and also sunshine. So we're going to put those two together today and study sunshine and fresh air. 
But let's take a look at the sun. Have you ever thought about the sun being the largest star at the center of the solar system? And it's the brightest object in the Earth's sky. It's amazing, and yet it's so far away. The sun is 93 million miles from the Earth, yet it's the most important source of energy for life on Earth. So it's so far, but it's so important for life on this Earth. But let's take a look at this next graphic. The Earth is so small in comparison to the sun. Look at this. It, the sun is 109 times larger than the Earth, and a million Earths could fit into the sun. Think about how small the Earth is here in comparison to the sun. It is so spectacular, my friends. And with all the spectacular aspects of the sun, our loving creator has given us sunlight to benefit our health. So we've been given sunlight to benefit our health. And sunlight is the revelation of God's love. Sunlight is given to us because God loves you. He cares for you and he cares for me. And so he's given us sunlight. And there's another, this is another ancient prescription right from the Garden of Eden for abundant health, my friends. And so we need sunshine and we need fresh air. Sunlight happens to be one of the most effective healing agents that we can find in nature. In fact, in the book Ministry of Healing 263, it says this, the pure air, the glad sunshine, the beautiful flowers and the trees, the orchards and vineyards and outdoor exercise, amid these surroundings are health-giving, life-giving. So when we're out in the glad sunshine and the flowers and the fresh air and even in the orchards, we have life-giving, health-giving properties. And so these are God's remedies, my friends. But we need sunshine in moderation. And when we do, it provides many, many health benefits. So let's look at some of those benefits of sunshine. Sunshine strengthens the immune system. And we need a strong immune system, especially during this time of COVID-19. And have you ever thought of the fact that actually sunshine also can help alleviate pain? So if you have some of that chronic pain, my friends, then it can help alleviate pain. And it can lower blood pressure and cholesterol levels. And even sunlight gives us a healthy complexion. Have you ever looked at those little children after they've come in the house from playing outside in the sunshine and the fresh air and they have those pink rosy cheeks? Well, you can have a wonderful uh, complexion as well as you get out into the sunshine and the fresh air. And sunlight also stimulates the appetite. When you go on a picnic, don't you feel like just eating because you're outside in the fresh air and sunshine? And it also gives you not only a good appetite, but then you want to exercise as well. And you have that juicy, mouth-watering watermelon to refresh you. Well, sunlight has many benefits, even for Alzheimer's patients. Clinical research has shown that exposure to full spectrum light throughout the day, coupled with darkness at night, can actually help improve some aspects of Alzheimer's disease, reducing agitation, increasing sleep efficiency, decreasing nighttime wakefulness, and decreasing nighttime activity in these patients. And so, my friends, there are so many benefits of sunshine and fresh air. It can actually reduce depression. So if you're feeling a little bit down, then just get out in the sunshine and the fresh air. It will also soothe the nerves. It'll make you calmer. So even if you have a little baby like new little Chloe, get a stroller and go out there in the sunshine and the fresh air because sunlight actually increases vitality. And especially in older people, we have less 
vigor and vitality to resist unhealthful influences. It's more important for the aged to have plenty of sunlight and fresh air. And so even if you have to take the elderly out, my friends, in a wheelchair, get them out in the sunshine and the fresh air. They will feel invigorated. And also another benefit is that sunlight kills germs. United Press International reported in 2011 that ultraviolet radiation from the sun kills germs on laundry, dried outside on a clothesline, and gives clothes a chemical-free, fresh scent. Oh, I can remember when I was a child, we hung all of our clothes out on a clothesline. And actually, we even had a pulley line that was connected to the house, and you would hang the clothes up, put the clothespins in, and put the line out a little further and then hang something else out. And when they were all dried, you'd pull it in and take them off and oh, they smelled so good. And also sunshine provides vitamin D and vitamin D is so important. With natural sunlight, it penetrates the skin and it triggers the body's production of vitamin D. And vitamin D, my friends, is known as the sunshine vitamin. It is very important to get adequate amounts of vitamin D. Although our food may be fortified with vitamin D, sunlight provides the best source of vitamin D. And many people are lacking with adequate amounts of D. We should have somewhere between 30 and 60 uh, count for our vitamin D and many people are lower than that and if you think that your vitamin D is lower you can actually get a test that will show you exactly where you are because my friends 95 percent of adults over 50 do not have adequate amounts of vitamin D can you believe that 95 percent of people over 50 don't even have adequate amounts of vitamin D. So we need to get them out in the sunshine. And they only need even 20 to 30 minutes a day that will give you all the vitamin D necessary. So get them out into the sunshine because we need sunshine, my friends. We need that sun penetrating the skin. And sunlight increases serotonin. Sunlight promotes positive thinking, and I know you want positive thinking, by increasing serotonin and important happiness brain chemical. And sunlight provides also melatonin. Melatonin is a natural hormone made for, by our bodies. And this natural melatonin will actually help us uh, sleep better when we get it particularly from the sun. And Day, daily times in the sun helps to regulate the circadian rhythms for a better night's sleep. So you're going to even sleep better, my friends, if you have uh, some good sunlight throughout the day. So sunshine is truly the happy vitamin. So let the sun shine in. Open the blinds and open the windows and let the sun shine in. And don't worry, my friends, about fading your furniture the health benefits that you get from the sunshine are just so much greater. So open up those blinds, open up those curtains, and let the sun just pour in. And open those windows so that you get the fresh air also in your home. And wherever you live, my friends, it doesn't matter. Keep the air circulating in your home. Hey, keep the air circulating by opening those windows. Incorporate sunshine into your lifestyle, which is another one of God's natural remedies for health. And you and your family will be on the road to better health. Yes, you can have better health, enjoy more health if you get out in the sunshine and the fresh air. And there are no shortcuts, my friends. No, a little pill isn't going to do it. Sunshine is crucial for overall health. So sunshine is crucial, important for overall health. And our environment and fresh air is beneficial for our well-being. It can either contribute to sickness 
or it can contribute to good health. And I know that you want good health, as I do as well. So pure air uh, promotes happiness. Serotonin can significantly lighten your mood and promote a sense of happiness and well-being. According to a group of studies published in 2010, the issue of Journal of Environmental Psychology, the research participants reported actually feeling happier, healthier, and more alive when they spent time in nature. And so you can be healthier, you can be happier when you spend more time out in nature. So spend more time outside, my friends. Yes, make it a priority to spend some time outside. Take a walk even after you eat. I know after I eat, I like to go for a nice walk and just imbibe all the good benefits from the trees and the sunshine and fresh air. But according to one government estimate, the average American spends 90% of his or her life indoors. That's quite incredible, my friends. So we want to get outside. And in a book called Councils on Health, page 166, it says this, life in the open air is good for body and mind. It's God's medicine for the restoration of health. Pure air, good water, sunshine, the beautiful surroundings of nature, these are his means for restoring the sick to health in natural ways. So fresh air and sunshine, being outside in nature is God's medicine. Have you ever thought of the fact that just being outside is like a medicine? This is amazing, my friends. So spend some time outside. And also, you might even want to think about a little home garden because a new study by Princeton University titled Research Shows Gardening at Home Improves Well-Being and Overall Happiness revealed this, that gardening outdoors in the sunshine and fresh air supports emotional well-being and provides deep satisfaction and long-lasting happiness. So as you have just a little home garden, you can have long-lasting happiness and provide satisfaction. I know it has done that for me as I have gotten out into my little garden. And also, it says that gardening could provide the health benefits of the fresh fruits and vegetables you're going to have the benefit of all those good fresh and fruits that, and vegetables that you're going to eat with all the vitamins and nutrients, the uh, phytochemicals and antioxidants and all the benefits of eating that good fruit and those veggies. And it will promote physical activity as well. You're going to be more active and support emotional well-being, which can reinforce this healthy behavior. So you might want to even think about a little garden, a little home garden, even if it's on the side of your house, my friends. Gardening was a common activity among the centenarians. They were gardening. These people living to 100 were gardening in their 80s and 90s and even 100. And so I want to be out there gardening when I'm 100, and I hope you do too. Well, I hope that actually Jesus will come before that, but... Uh, until then, I want to be healthy and do some gardening. Pure air refreshes the body, making it strong and healthy so we can have a strong, healthy body as we are out there in the fresh air. So here are some teeny tips for you today. I'm going to give you some little teeny tips. Begin a home garden. I know I've started my little home garden, and as you see in this graphic, these are my strawberries. They've actually grown quite a bit since I took this picture. And begin with some simple herbs. Put some herbs on the side of your house or on the patio and begin with some patio tomatoes. I know I have done this and my tomatoes are really high. They are growing enormously high. It's amazing. And here are some others. Plant a blueberry bush on the side of your house. If you will look at this graphic, there are blueberries that are just coming along very nicely, and I just looked at them, and 
they are even bigger and getting uh, better every single day. I can't wait, wait to eat some of these delicious blueberries. Just plant it on the side of my house and then plant some strawberry plants in between your shrubs. That's what I did. I took some strawberry plants and planted them right in between my shrubs. And so here are some more teeny tips for you today. Spend about 20 to 30 minutes daily in the sunshine and don't worry about using sunscreen during that time. Uh, if you're out there for a little longer period, then you can use sunscreen. But plan time with your family at the beach or at the park or just out walking in the woods, enjoying the sunshine and the fresh air. And open the blinds, my friends, and let that sun shine in, pour in. And here are my last teeny tips for you. Walk in the fresh air. Open the windows. Air out your bedding even regularly. This will keep your bedding fresh and clean and nice smelling. Practice deep breathing until it becomes a habit. In fact, take those deep breaths. Let's do it right now together. Let's breathe in through the nose and out through the mouth. Let's breathe in and out. Take those deep breaths regularly, my friends. That's important as you're out in the fresh air to take those deep breaths. So here's your prescription for today. Walk out in the sunshine with your head erect, your shoulders back, and take those deep, deep breaths and breathe deeply several times every day, my friends. And when you're tired even, stand up and just take those deep breaths and you will feel so much better. But every day, my friends, walk out in the sunshine and the fresh air. It's health-giving and it is life-giving. These are truly the secrets to wellness. These are what will keep you well, my friends. In John 10.10, 10, it says this, I have come that they might have life and that they might have it more abundantly. God wants you to have life, but he wants you to have it more abundantly. So get out in the fresh air and the sunshine because truly this is God's health assurance plan. So may God bless you, my friends, as you decide to go out in the sunshine and fresh air and follow God's way because God's way is always the best way. God bless.